Hello, today we're going to talk about Forrest, Forrest Gump. Hello, what up? It's John, your movie madman, and I'm back. So, um, today I said, as you probably saw a minute ago, that we're going to talk about Forrest Gump today in 4K. So that's quite an exciting video. Um, I did watch this a while ago, but I made notes. Oh, there. So I'll be looking at them. Um, obviously I look at the camera. When I edit videos, I try and cut out every time I look down. So um, I'll try and not look down too much because it's a pain in the ass when it comes to editing. So apologies if you can hear background music. I think my landlord's having a party downstairs by himself. Right, so today we're, we're talking about this beauty I tell you what it is a beauty yeah a little bit like beauty and the beast just without beauty or the beast so it's just and the yeah work that out um, that's what the back cover looks like just in case I know you guys are really fascinated with back covers uh, I had to get this imported because I'm pretty sure for some reason in Britain this has been deleted or if that either that or servers have just decided that they don't want to sell it for some rude reason because it was an absolute nightmare trying to get this so I've wanted to get it in 4k for absolutely ages it was sitting on my Amazon wish list for absolutely ages and it just always said currently out of stock so maybe it's just out of stock but you'd think if it was out of stock that means it's on popular demand and you think if it was on popular demand that would mean they'd get more in but you know they haven't I mean it was sat on my Amazon wish list for ages and I got I, I got no results whatsoever for a very very long time uh, bought this off of eBay in the end imported from the United States of America um, so that's why if you look at the back there you can see the PG-13 rating at the bottom there you see that it's region unlocked so most 4k films are region unlocked from what I've noticed which is pretty good because it means I can import stuff from America and it will still play over here so I have managed to get a couple of cheeky uncut versions of films as well as I do like an uncut version of a film I've got the uncut version of Fast and Furious 8 from America I've got the uncensored version of uh, Aquaman from America just because I knew that it was censored over here. So anyway, let's get on with this. Um, I've got loads of notes, but uh, I don't want to go. I don't want to go into too much detail because we'll literally be here all day. One of the biggest things that stuck out to me all the way through this film was how the boring Nora is. This film a twelve? Like, I know it was one of the first twelves to get like a home release as a twelve. I mean, I know that there were films in the cinema that were 12s before this, but I think Forrest Gump was one of the first 12s that was a home release 12 as well, probably because if they wanted to cut it down to a PG, they would have had to cut a lot out, or they could have just made it a 15, to be fair. It basically is a 15. I mean, there's references to child abuse in this film. Uh, there's an attempted assault on a lady in a car. Jenny makes Forrest touch her boob and then it's insinuated that he's jizzed in his pants which I thought was a little a little strong for a 12 as well uh, there's a naked woman playing a guitar which obviously you don't see her full, fully naked but you know you see a bit of side boob which is quite quite a lot for a 12 uh, there's injury detail during the war sequences it's quite graphic and that's just that's just the violence so there's people smoking weed taking NDMA doing cocaine there's even a scene of someone taking heroin and this is all in a 12 there's an attempted suicide scene and a couple of characters have sex as well so all in all I would love to know how this gets away with being a 12 and it baffles me what gets away with being PG-13 in America but we'll go through ratings in a different video as I keep saying, I might actually film that video at some point, maybe even today, who knows. Right, things, things that stick out to me though, sunsets. From what I remember, 
all the way through this film, whenever there's a sunset or a sunrise, that sky looks absolutely beautiful. That popping orange and popping red look absolutely beautiful. Um, the first thing I noticed was a close-up of Forrest's shoes right at the beginning. They look so old and dirty and disgusting. So that was an interesting that was an interesting moment for me. I was like, wow, those shoes look absolutely gross. I noticed that the picture feels like it's a little bit darker. But I mean that doesn't mean that the the colours don't stick out or anything like that. You still got that booming HDR in there, which is pretty good, but the picture does look like it's been dimmed down a little bit. Not that that's a negative. I definitely wouldn't say that it was a negative thing, but you could definitely tell, especially if you looked at the Blu-ray just before you looked at the 4K, which I did. Uh, all the clothes in the film I noticed were very detailed and very, very uh, eye candy popping, eye popping candy. There we go. There's a there's a new expression that I might use a bit more often. Eye popping candy. Because you're like, what, and you feel like someone's poked you in the eye with colours. Uh, scenes, scenes at night time light up, light up like nothing ever before, which is good because it's always good to have a lit up night time scene because although you want to convey that it's night time, you still want to be able to see what's going on on camera. And there are some films you get where it's night time and you just can't, you can't see what's going on, which is like a bit pointless. I noticed that the picture itself wasn't like covered in grain, which is good. I mean, you always like a little bit of grain, especially because it's an old film shot on film. Um, you're also you're always going to expect there to be a little bit of grain, but the grain wasn't too heavy with this, which was nice. I do like a bit of grain. I mean, I saw 300 in 4K a couple of weeks ago, and the grain in that was pretty heavy, but. I felt like the grain in that went really well with the the style of the film. It's probably the happiest I've ever been to see so much grain in a film was watching 300. But you know, we're talking about Forrest Gump, so. I did notice a little, very small version of Halle Joe Osment at the end playing Forrest Gump's son. Halle Joe Osment is probably most popular for the kid that can see dead people in the sixth sense. And he's even younger in this. So I was a bit like, wow, he literally looked like he'd just been born and they'd put a hat on him and taught him to speak. So that was that was interesting. The film just lit up really well. The green screen wasn't too bad, which is good. The CGI was what it was meant to be. I mean you knew it was CGI, but it's quite old. Um, but like the fire, the fire lights up really well. That orange and those explosions. You know, it's all it's worth it, I'd say. If you can get it, because uh, I found it very hard trying to get this. It took me a little while battling through eBay and losing. I lost quite a few times trying to outbid people getting this film. I think I finally ended up spending about £30 on this. So it was a bit more than I wanted to spend. But if you wanted to get this brand new... The British brand new version of this on eBay, when I last looked, was like 85 quid. And I was just like, fuck off, that's not going to happen. I'm spending 85 quid on one film. As much as I love Forrest Gump, I wouldn't spend 85 quid to see it in 4K. I was happy with the £30 I spent to see it in 4K, that was fine. But, all in all, if you can get it at a decent price, go for it. Definitely better than the Blu-ray. And definitely worth seeing in 4K, especially if you're a lover of this movie, which I am. I don't know why this isn't in my top 69. It probably should be, but I might have to amend my list a little bit. So I'm going to stop talking about picture details for a little while. That's it for today. Uh, enjoy the rest of your evening, and I will see you again in my next video. Ta-ra.